Hi, I'm Savon, a health coach in Portland, Oregon, and I'm also a licensed professional counselor. I help folks change their habits um, and, and help them stay consistent and get motivated for change. Um, and so one thing that can really help you be successful with whatever area of your life that you're wanting to work on or improve is to set a realistic goal. So some folks, when they're uh, they come to the point where they're like, oh man, I'm super motivated. I, I need to change. I need to lose weight. I need to um, stop staying up till three in the morning watching YouTube. Um, and uh, so, so they're, they're ready to commit to a change. Um, and, and they start out and they might do well for two days, two weeks, e even a month. Um, but when things get hard or, or stressful, then you it's very easy to just go back to the old way of, of doing things to your old habits and so <clears throat> it's the research that on habit change shows that making small consistent changes taking baby steps is one of the keys for new healthy habits to really stick um and get in place in, in your life so what can help with making small realistic goals is one uh cutting your your expectation or your goal in half so here's an example if you watch youtube or or netflix or if you're on your phone um six hours a day it's not really realistic to go from six hours a day down to zero or one hour um to, to go cold turkey because uh, <clears throat> uh, screen time uh, affects the dopamine levels in your brain. And you can experience withdrawal symptoms, physical withdrawal symptoms, where you're physically uncomfortable, and also mental, emotional uh, withdrawal symptoms. You can feel really anxious um, and uncomfortable when you make a change like that. So uh, a more realistic goal is to whatever you're doing to cut down maybe 20 or 20% or, uh, or 30%. Um, or if you're really ambitious and you're feeling re really ready, um, maybe half, but don't go from um, whatever it is down to zero. It's not really a realistic goal. Another thing that can help uh, with uh, a realistic goal or at, um, as you start to make changes is to really be patient with yourself, be committed to being patient with yourself and really practicing self-compassion, not being too hard on yourself, um, not being too disappointed or um, uh, harsh if you don't meet your goal. Um, uh, so if you make a commitment like this week, I'm gonna cut down on screen time from six hours to, to four hours um, a day and you, you hit that goal maybe three or four days out of the week. Um, uh, don't uh, don't tell yourself that you failed m in meeting that goal. Um, remind yourself that you are making progress. Um, and sometimes, if you don't meet the goal, it's not necessarily that you failed. It might be that you didn't set the correct goal. It may have been a little too ambitious. I hope that helps.